वेलकम बैक टू एम एल टी वर्ल्ड टूडे फ्रेंड्स आई विल शो यू हाउ टू परफॉर्म आर पी आर टेस्ट देर आर डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ आर पी आर किट्स अवेलेबल एक्ॉन स्पिन रिएक्ट एंड सम अदर ब्रांड्स ऑल्सो बट द स्पिन रिएक्ट ब्रांड इज वन ऑफ द बेस्ट ब्रांड अंटिल नाउ वी फाउंड एंड इट्स ईजी एंड टू परफॉर्म द टेस्ट ऑल्सो सो आई विल शो यू हाउ वी विल डू आर पी आर टेस्ट बाई यूजिंग स्पिन रिएक्ट किट first of all you should know that rpr test why need rpr test need um, to detect the uh, presence of syphilis disease if any patient have syphilis disease then rpr will come positive Mo in most labs are um, vdrl test also you doing by rapid card method but now a days most of the clinics uh, or most of the countries they stopped uh, vdrl rapid card method and it is replaced by rpr method so first of all when the kit will come uh, you have to store this kit at 2 to 8 degree centigrade and then to perform the test keep the kit outside at least 15 minutes so that the it will come the reagents will come uh, into the room temperature in the kit you will find negative control positive control and rpr carbon reagent negative control is green color uh, sorry blue color cap and positive control is red color cap and from this uh, bottle color you can understand that this should be keep outside uh, should avoid sunlight because the reagent is sensitive to sunlight that's why they keep in dark bottle so whenever the kit is coming in, first of all you have to check the literature in literature the uh, that is coming with the kit and what are the important points you have to see in the literature first of all is check the principle of the test that how this test is performed antigen antibody reaction or whatever the principle is so study the principle of the test after that you have to check samples that uh, for this test need to perform uh, to perform this test we need whole blood serum plasma or which type of sample is required and if we are performing test same time then sample should be keep at room temperature or if we are performing next day or after one week then the sample should be keep in freezer or fridge these things you have to check after that we will check the method qualitative method and semi quantitative method in qualitative method how much <coughs> sorry sample is required and reagent is required in this video i will show you qualitative method to perform qualitative method we need 50 microliter sample and in sample we required serum serum should be clear serum uh, not uh, contaminated or it should not be hemolyzed so same uh, serum should be clear and we need uh, yeah we will use 50 microliter and disposable tip each sample should use with new tip so and like that with the help of tip you can spread the serum and this rpr carbon card is coming with the kit and you have to label that kit mm, card also like first was negative then p plus means positive control and after that the numbers that is patient id number every patient have different id number so it's better to write id number as compared to name because sometimes same names are coming so follow the file number or id number of the patient and like that we will spread the serum so 50 microliter is required serum and 20 microliter we required rpr carbon reagent and before performing this test make sure that the reagent is mixed properly and these controls are coming in this bottle so just we will take one one drop this is the negative control as i showed you in the start of the video <coughs> and uh, on the reagent it's better to write opening date also it will helpful 
uh, to count your stock like for in one month how much RPA reagents are used so in next order making time you have estimation that this much uh, we required the reagent or this much kits we required in our next order so it's better to always write opening dates this is the positive control this also we will take one drop and you will take put the drop of positive control just be careful it should not touch into the sample area because if it will touch with sample area it will make false positive result for the patient so now we will make 20 microliter um, reagent in each circle if rpr is coming positive for any patient then we will go to the tpha test tpha practical test i have already made the video if you want to see that video also you can check the serology immunology playlist on in videos after this positive control each control also i am changing the tip so that uh, it should i will i want to make sure that the reagent tip should no, uh, not touch with any sample this just want to make zoom to give you clear image but i think it's not coming that much clear now we will keep in the uh, rotor for, uh, we will keep uh, 100 rpm rotor speed for 8 minutes here we will choose the time of the rotor and here the speed is 100 rpm so after 8 minutes we will check our result you can do by hand also but if rotor is available prefer the rotor now you can see that negative control showing no agglutination while the positive control shows good agglutination it means our reagent is correct and the patient samples also 374 375 76 and 77 also shows no agglutination so it means that patients have negative result or rpr non-reactive we can report rpr non-reactive it's better to report like that i hope you like this video and understand how to perform rpr test especially by using spin react kit please tell in comments also that have you understand how to perform this test thank you so much